for our benefit. But we thank God right now uh, for where he has moved us to. Amen. It's just good to be in the house. And it's certainly good to be in worship. Amen. Amen. At this time, let's bow. We thank you, O oh God, for letting us be able to stand before your people. We do pray as we stand this day that we can certainly be able to preach, O oh Lord, under your anointing. So God, use us now that this word will go forth. This word will accomplish your purpose. Oh God, that it will certainly help we who believe. So God, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Those that may have your Bibles, uh, we invite you to look uh, to the book of John, the 12th chapter. I'm going to look at verses 12 through 15 of this gospel according to John. John 12, 12 through 15. Amen. If you're ready, let us uh, read this together. On the next day, much people that were come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees, and went forth to meet him, and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, when he had found the young ass, sat thereon, as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, thy king cometh, sitting on the ass's coat. Amen. And today we like to talk about Palm Sunday. Was it necessary? Amen. Palm Sunday. Was it necessary? My friends, here we are again, what some would call a seasonal or annual holiday. It comes every year, and you really have to watch the calendar on this, either March or April. Because this year, Easter is a little further in the month of April than it normally is. So that means that Palm Sunday is that Sunday that precedes that day. Uh, this day, and, and I would like to let it be understood, is a prelude to Easter. All right, yeah. And not only just Easter, it is also the beginning of what we understand to be the Passion Week. And, and we say Passion Week because Jesus would undergo a whole different, if you want to say, uh, assortment of emotions. All right. Because on this day that we are speaking of, yeah. it was a joyous day. It was a day of celebration. All right. But I think all of us who have lived long enough that days change. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. On one day you can be just like you on cloud nine. Yeah. And quickly enjoying that experience, something can come along and you find yourself Maybe on skid row. Amen. So, so I think we can relate to this being a passion week because Jesus, as we understand, was on his way to Jerusalem. And this week in which our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, it would prepare him for the journey to the cross. And, and I know um, in this day and age, we may not talk a whole lot about the cross, but I pray that we don't forget Amen. about the cross. Because the cross is that symbol of the debt that was paid for our sins. Yes. It is he who had hung there and died, who died, as they say, selfless, because he wanted to save humanity. Yes. And so as we think about this weekend, and as we find ourselves in this week again, the focus ought to be on what Jesus did. Because, listen, before there could be a Good Friday mm -hmm. or a Easter Sunday, all right, all right. there had to be a Palm Sunday. Because, if you hear me, everything has a beginning, 
every story, every plan, every event, and not only that, every idea. Because mm -hmm. it's funny if something would start from the end. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, no, no, you, don't, you never knew what the beginning was. Right. And so therefore, a day called Palm Sunday was necessary. Because right. many have not understood its purpose or even why the day exists. So in spite of what appears to be a day of question, and, and, and thank the Holy Spirit for that, amen, statement, mm -hmm. uh, a day of question. Because Palm Sunday, if you hear me, is a day of uh, acknowledgement. Because right. it, it was on that day, if we understand the record, that Jesus made what the theologians would declare a triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Yes. Now, now that sounds contrary because he goes in Jerusalem like he has victory. Amen. 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 If you understand. Amen. He rides in Jerusalem like a king. Amen. Amen. But the, how the story ends up that on Friday, uh -huh. if you know the story, he hangs from a cross. All right. All right. Come on, man. But it's not till the following Sunday yeah. that truly victory yeah. has been won by him. Yeah. But, but, but some look at this as him going in Jerusalem. And just imagine this hour being that road mm -hmm. that Jesus entered in Jerusalem. He, he comes down it, amen, on a mule or a donkey. Right. Yeah. Amen. And, and so entering the holy city, this was Jesus' last week of living yeah. before dying on the cross. Amen. And, and the record will prove that because... This was the last initial week that he was spent alive before he took on the cross. Well. And so, according to the text, I want you to see this. He was being treated like a king. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. Amen. And how interesting that it would be in Jerusalem that Jesus would receive a reception. Amen. In this particular city. Right. Jerusalem, the holy city. Where David had conquered and once ruled and was now being entered by another king, yes. Jesus, who is the king of kings. Yes, now, the manner in which Jesus enters is interesting. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem is not, as, man, as, as, as they look here, is not considered, amen, is not considered like king at this point. Mm -hmm. now, 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 Jesus entering it not being who they thought he was. Yeah. And so, look at the things that took place. He does not enter having an army, a marching band, all right. or all the pageantry that is expected with one who is considered to be a king. All right. yeah. Instead, Jesus does the opposite. Mm -hmm. He comes into Jerusalem very meek and lonely. Well. He is not riding a great white horse. Amen. To prove that he was a king. He rides in Jerusalem on a young donkey. Mm -hmm. yeah. But still, it's what the people do. They treat him like a king. Yeah. Look at the first thing they did. When they heard Jesus was coming, and, and you find this out in verse 12, the people did something. They took the branches from the palm trees yeah. and went forth to meet Jesus. Yeah. Now, 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 this is interesting that they would literally break off a branch of a palm tree yeah, and, and now take it with them to go meet Jesus. Yeah. And, and, and listen, there was no parade scheduled that day in Jerusalem. <laughs> if you hear me. All right. yeah. there, there was no, amen, parade on the schedule. All right. All right. But, 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 you know, God just got a way of scheduling things yeah, yeah. that we don't anticipate, that we don't expect. And so so, so Jesus goes forth riding on this young donkey. But because they heard Jesus, and, and that's the reason for why these events took place, they heard that Jesus was coming into Jerusalem. Yeah. And so the people, and look at this, 
prepared to give him the red carpet treatment. Yeah. I, now, I know branches weren't red, but, but just, just think, if you will, that they were treating him royally. Yeah. They, they were spreading out the red carpet in anticipation for him just to walk in or ride in to them. Because the palm branches they, they took from the trees, and this is what's interesting that John's gospel will record. The people's action along the road gave rise to Palm Sunday. Amen. This is how it was established. Yes. The acts of the people, they chose to take palm branches from the palm trees. And, and so this day, Palm Sunday, was now declared. Yes. And so a very large crowd, we understand, has spread their outer garments. And think about this, you pull it off. Amen. I guess your Sunday best. <laughs> or whatever garment that you have on. And listen, taking it off, and not only that, taking off the branches that were saying, and then listen, spread them on the road. Now, now by doing this, they were doing it so Jesus could ride in. Yeah with this royal treatment. And, and so according to what we see, this very large crowd had done these things. They spread out their garments and, and, and then they took those branches and they put them on the road and let Jesus have this treatment like he was a king. And so in scattering their art of garments on the road, the people were given what we say Jesus special treatment. Because this crowd knew who he was. They understood that he was the Messiah. And, and what they did not understand was that it wasn't time to set the kingdom up yet. All right, all right. So they continued to treat him like a king. And what a sight to behold. Just think about if you were there. That how we line up on both sides when a parade is in progress. Mm -hmm. Think about the same on that street. Or oh, that road going into Jerusalem. I can see in my mind that they were lined up on both sides. Yeah, and yeah. some had their palms waving them. And yeah. in celebration that our Messiah has come yeah. to our town. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And not only just waving the palms. They took off their garments and spread them in the way. And, and, and allowing him to ride down the street. Yes, sir. Amen. And, and what they consider great treatment. Yes. But as we look, this was not the only thing that took place. Yes. Listen, we saw all these actions. Yes. We saw them shedding their out garments. Mm -hmm. We even saw them breaking off branches of palm trees and, and, and demonstrating how much they appreciated Jesus coming to Jerusalem. Yeah. But aren't you glad that in all of that, yes, this was not the only thing that took place? Because right. if you are going to have a parade, right. there's going to be some noise. Yeah. Amen. There's going to be some what? Celebration. Yeah. And on the first Palm Sunday recorded by Scripture, yeah. The people also honored Jesus verbally. Yeah. The crowds that went ahead of him and those yeah. that followed him shouted, Hosanna yeah. 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 to the son of David. Yeah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Yeah. In, this, in that praise of Jesus, listen, the Jewish crowds were quoting Psalm 118, verses 25 and 26. They acknowledge a prophecy of the Christ had taken place. Yes. And I'm glad that Hosanna was the right praise to cry out to Jesus. Because yes. Hebrew let us understand that Hosanna means save now yes. or give salvation now. Yes. For indeed Jesus did come to save them that were lost. Yes. Isn't it amazing how all of this just lined up? Yeah. He would come to Jerusalem. Yeah. Listen, they would treat him so kindly and so graciously. Yeah. And in return, they would now praise him by saying, Hosanna. Yeah. Which meant in the Hebrew that that means save now. Yeah. They didn't realize that that was the reason that 
he actually came on the scene. Yes. He did come to save those yes. which were lost. Yes. But by coming to Jerusalem, and look at it, on this first day of the week, another honor day was established, yes. which is now called Palm Sunday. Yes. It may not mean much, but it set what Jesus came to do in motion. Because he was soon going to be headed to Calvary with his cross on his shoulder to die. I did say earlier that we still need to be reminded that Jesus went to the cross. Yes. Yes. And that the cross still symbolized what he did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just glad that he did it because he loved us. Yes. Yes. Amen. He didn't have to die, but it was all because of God's love yes. for the world. Yes. This is why Palm Sunday is very meaningful. Yes. This is why we wear the palm leaf, amen, in the form of a cross. Yes. Amen. That yes. many of us have adorned this day. Yes. Because we are celebrating the fact that he what entered the city of Jerusalem. Yes. Amen. He entered there because five days later, yes. listen, there was going to be a different crowd. All right, come on. Now. Listen, it's amazing that on a Sunday that there was a whole lot of praising. There was a whole lot of hosannas. Amen. On the first day that he entered Jerusalem. Which we know to be Palm Sunday. Because five days later, no doubt the same crowd was now saying crucify him. Listen, it's amazing how there can be a shift in your week. I have said it often, brothers and sisters, we can start off on a high the first day. It's the in-between that causes a whole lot of stress. That sometimes we don't see where it's coming from. But all we know that we're caught up in the midst of it. I believe somebody know what I'm talking about. Listen, you can be at church on Sunday morning. And not too long before you get out of here, the devil can come around quickly. Listen, and steal that religious hat. Listen, and have you wondering were you really in church? When I look at what Jesus went through here, uh, it was an example to all of us. Uh, he was our Savior. Uh, amen. Who was headed to his destiny. Uh, yes, Jerusalem was his destiny. Uh, because it was on the outskirts of the city of Jerusalem. There was a mount called Golgotha. Uh, that Jesus would hung, bled, and die. Uh, but I'm glad before he got to Friday, uh, he had to come to a Palm Sunday. Uh, this is a Sunday of celebration, uh, a Sunday of praise for him. Uh, but it's funny how things can quickly change. Uh, listen, from being so honored uh, to now being disgraced. Uh, anybody here today uh, ever been that way? Uh, one day they love you. Uh, the next moment they can't stand you. Uh, this not only I'm talking to you, uh, but I thought you ought to know. Uh, I say you uh, went through these emotions. Uh, listen, on Sunday he was relishing uh, how they honored him. Uh, but if I keep going with the story, uh, as soon as he got in Jerusalem, uh, the first place he went to uh, was his father's house. What he saw in the house, uh, it disturbed him. Uh, listen, he said, look at these fellas. Uh, they done made my father's house uh, a den of thieves. Uh, so what does Jesus do quickly? Uh, he whipped them out. Uh, he turned over tables uh, because he was not happy uh, with what was going on in his father's house. Uh, I thought you ought to know. Uh, yeah, you could be celebrating uh, for a few hours. Uh, and then quickly, uh, you can turn others against you. Uh, Y'all don't believe me. Uh, because as soon as he did that, uh, he had those Pharisees, uh, those scribes, uh, those priests. 
against uh, enemies against him. Uh, but it didn't stop Jerusalem. Uh, Jesus know why. Uh, he entered Jerusalem. Uh, but I have a question. Uh, all of us uh, in our lives uh, got a Jerusalem to face. Uh, you may not believe me. Uh, celebration. Listen and saying Hosanna to the highest. Amen. By praising him. Because their cries were, Lord, save us now. Amen. And so I thank God that Jesus accomplished his work. God bless you, church. We, we're going to extend the invitation. But I do want us to realize that Jesus, he was the group. 